Hey everyone, welcome to episode 9 of the Fellow Traveller and <clears throat> I'm still here at Cliftonville between this and the last video I think we played maybe Balamina as well oh no, Balamina was in the last video we played Nuri and Coleraine and just destroyed them both it was a real dominant game in both I think the first one we took quite a while to score and we had a lot of shots but couldn't break through until quite late so it was quite nervy until Demirovic scored and the second game we scored very early and I rested a few players because this was only four days yeah four days before our big game today against Lana at home and yeah Leo Brown got a goal as well so I didn't play Gormley for that yeah so yeah we won both games quite easily but the first one was quite nervy and today we've got Lana who are fifth in the league and that must mean that I'm playing them today not, not a symbol but um, they fired their manager a few weeks ago and I thought there'd be a way to see that quite easily ah, it doesn't matter but yeah they fired their manager a few weeks ago and I think they've started to see a resurgence since then Actually, let's probably look at the league and the form table. As you can see, we're doing quite well in the league as well. We're um, two points clear at the top. So we could win the league this season. It wouldn't be crazy. It depends quite a lot on the next game against Lana. Sorry, not Lana. The next game against Lana is kind of important, but it's the big one is the one after against Linfield. But yeah, Lana on the second best one in form in the league. Only we're doing better on form. But they did lose their last game. Uh, I can't tell which order it's in. Probably Balamina though. Yeah, they lost against Balamina. <laughs> Funnily enough, that's who I lost against. That's why in that red line. And Balamina are a very good run of form, weirdly. 3 1 3 lost. Um, which is very good for a team that are in the re we were in the relegation zone when I played them. But yeah, and in the cup, we got the Institute. The Institute. We got Institute. Uh, I was told by the Linfield fans account. A YouTube account that the Irish Cup is more important in um, Ireland than the other two. The board still don't care about any of them, but that that's the one that's most prestigious anyway. So hopefully we won't get knocked down by Linfield in that one <laughs> in the quarter final again, maybe. Um, so yeah, here we go. We're playing Lana. Um, and yeah, I rested a lot of players last game, so nearly everyone is quite fit for this game. A few players like Demirovic and Flanagan played 45 minutes. McKeon is only played 45 minutes. I'm hoping, because they were in a form, I only wanted to play the best against this team. But um, I'm hoping that we beat them quite easily. I'll score a few early on so we can rest a few players because Linfield is next. And Linfield obviously is even more important because they're second in the league. I don't know what Baird was doing then, but we got lucky, don't. Yeah, Casement's been on a bad run of form as well. He's been kind of a disappointment, to be honest. Oh, Gorm Gormley is this one to put into? There's no one in the box. This is where Demirovic should be filling the gap. That was a bad shot. But normally, um, with this formation, I find that the attacking midfielder kind of slots in behind and then covers for the striker when he's not there. I'm not going to take the advice. I don't like more direct passing. I like a lot of... Um, Short passing, not big possession, but kind of quick counter attacking short passes. Ah, shit. That's a good goal from the end of the <coughs> the edge of the box. I'd kind of like it if we didn't win it in one season, to be honest. It'd be a bit of a, a bit of a cop out. Yeah, he hit that fucking beautifully right into the corner. Um, yeah, we'll have to. If we lose both these games, we'll be in quite a bad spot. Yeah, we're already dropping down. Oh, Gormley. That was a beautiful save, though, from Johns, their keeper. <coughs> yeah, case has been poor. One of my um, obvious transfer objectives. Oh, Baird. It's a beautiful shot. I don't think he's probably very good at shooting either, Baird. Long shots five. Um, they're good from set pieces normally. Oh, that was another good save. Fucking hell. 
But uh, yeah, my long term plan is to go to Kaysen. Or even short term plan, to be honest. He's 32 years old. He's got a cap, but um, he's been poor all season. And especially because we've got quite a good. I've just been quite solid at left back. It's been well now. Centre backs have been pretty good as well. I wouldn't mind another <coughs> centre back because Baird's not quite as good as I'd like him to be. And Breen is very old and very slow. Or old and very slow, anyway. Oh, that was a good opening there for Curran. <coughs> that's that hay fever again um, yeah and sorry I know I'm watching this I've been a bit more irregular lately um, just because of a few different things, work schedule um, weather and just kind of all the madness around coronavirus I've kind of been a bit more my schedule's been a bit all over the place oh he didn't react yeah I think because also I think Izzy's probably been around for a while he seems to respect me when I tell him he's not playing very well as well. He seems like he's really getting, um, he's just cashing his check, which is really irritating. <coughs> I tend to buy young players because they're obviously they develop more, even if it, I would rather have bought a young player slightly worse than Casement, but I couldn't buy, I have to bring some attacking players, I think. I couldn't find someone that was even close to Casement's ability, and he's not very good Casement, but I couldn't find anyone anyone good really who wasn't his age and he was quite cheap I think so in the end I just settled for a, what I hoped was going to be a one season replacement um, but he's not even really fulfilled that which is very annoying um, yeah so I'm going to bring on Foster for him and Foster's going to be a lot more attacking and I'm going to run Maguire and make him an inside forward or maybe an inverted winger just because I know he plays well there and attacking the field left and yes they both responded well it's a bit of a gamble I think for you to make the difference but um, demand more yes we really need to score a goal before the end of this game this could be it finding a free kick we've only had one clear cut chance as well Dortmund is not playing badly. I don't really know what I can do in addition to this. I could bring Daherty off. And hopefully that does something. I'm just going to very quickly change into support. And I'm going to change that's our to attack. Yeah, nothing much has happened since then. But I've got to whip it in. Is he going to pass it wide? I'll cross it in. Got a lot of players in the box. Go on, Foster. Demirovic, Vanagan, let me shoot. No. Dirty, Vanagan, we're dominating possession, but we're not not scoring a goal. Whip it in, Foster. Yes! Vanagan, <laughs> what a shot. That's exactly what we needed. Um, I'm going to keep that very attack information because they're just not, not causing us any strain. Yeah, I'm going to keep it because um, we've only had two shots. And one on target, and that was a bloody goal. So I think we're much more likely to score. And normally, when I think we're more likely to score, then you kind of just want to attack so that someone scores because the odds are it's going to be you. God, McGuire. McGuire is ploughing through. I was going to tell him off for shooting and from range, but um, I thought he was going to score for a second. I'm going to bring Curran off, I think, as well. No, I haven't got anyone to cover him. Um, no, I've got no one who plays. Oh, Manar could come on, but he's not that good. He's young, he's kind of like a give him some given opportunity. Like, give him a few games, but he's not the kind of player I expect to be. Um, come on and change the game. I think I have to rest my key in, fortunately. I just. I don't think we're going to score. I don't think I can do anything to make us more likely to score. So I need to kind of focus on making sure that we can play Linfield and not be in a really bad spot. Lives. <laughs> I didn't think that was going to happen. I thought we were going to. I thought we were going to lose that game. 
Oh my god. I didn't. I was kind of half watching. There's someone at my door, I think. But, um. It's a beautiful pass for Flanagan. The vision on that. And I just blast it right into the corner. Oh, I think we might win the league this season. This feels like one of those games that, um. You know what they say, like a league winner wins, where they've been very wasteful, but then all of a sudden, oh, I say that, and then <clears throat> they come so close to scoring a goal right at the end. I might go more defensive in a second. Yeah, I'm going to try and go more defensive. Well, not more defensive, but back to how we were playing before. Not quite as attacking. Let's go balanced. We might score from this, though. Yeah, we did. Thank God. It's Flanagan again. He scored two this game and got an assist. He's the best player in the league by far. So we're um, just very lucky to have him. He's the star player. Would have been nice to have rested him so he'd be full in full fitness for the second game. But um, we'll just have to settle for that for now. Nah, I think we're down. Good win. What a comeback. I'm not going to tell Flanagan. I'm very happy. Because he changed the game today. He went from 6.8 half time to 9.3 at the end of the game. Got two goals and an assist. Obviously, we went from 1 0 down to 3 1, so he made, the, made that happen. Linfield broke the Balamina curse. Uh, and finally beat him. We're still two points clear. The last, yeah, the last game with. Uh, Linfield goes. Flanagan's happy. Let me have a quick look. Because I think. I oh know I've got them twice more. I've got them right near the season. That might be the decider. Dungan should be an easy game, but yeah. Yeah, Lana Linfield, Dungan, the last three games of the season. Cool. I'm just going to pause it there and then bring us back for the uh, Linfield game. Yeah, here we are back for the Linfield game. Um, we're away as well, actually, I should know. Um. Yeah, a lot of the players are tired, and I was particularly was, so I rested him. 87%'s not, not good. I don't want to play more than 87%. But what I normally do, which is quite nice, is because I've got, it's irritating in a way actually, I've got an, an attacking right back, back up, the quick casement is quite a defensive right back, a uh, defensive left back, back up. So I obviously is quite an attacking left back, so I have to keep swapping them over. So we'll be attacking more on the right and the left this time. Actually, I think I might take Chris Curran off as well. Um, and put Zark on. Yeah, he was banned last game. You might have seen I've got... Um, he's on trial from Dion, I think, actually. But um, we might be able to buy him, we'll see. But that's just where you can see him there in the um, attacking the field right. Um, we'll see what we can do in the next transfer window. But yeah, the players are quite tired. A lot of conditions are kind of in the lower 90s, which I don't like. But Linford is a big game. I think I'm just going to have to try and power through. Um, irritantly, we've got Dungan and Swift like two days after this game. Yeah, two days after the game. So we'll have to basically play half a youth team, I think, for Dungan and hope they're in the same race we are. Yes. Jeff Gormley didn't respond to it. He's been a bit nervous lately. Maybe I'll say no pressure. Yeah, you respond to that either. But um but yeah, so I think we'll have to kind of focus on the Linfield game. I hope we win. We are away as well. I switched to cautious as a result. And then um just hope we win Dungan even with a half strength side. They've got more possession than us so far, which is not a good sign. Unless they play high possession football, which I can't remember if they do or not. Do seem to be playing a high position football right now, or a wasteful one anyway. But yeah, I'm not that happy with our defence in this game. The Dunley is not as good as Ives, and Foster he's not as good defensively as Casement, but he's been playing better on average. It's well held up by Gormley there. It's a good pass from Bear as well. There's Foster bombing down that wing. Gormley so close. But yeah, Zock Zock's been good lately as well. He was um 
he had five yellows of cards or something, so he couldn't play last game. Uh, or I'd have played him. Sometimes Curran's a better option, but um, yeah, I didn't rest him or anything. I wanted to play him. He's not playing very well this game, though. Just after I say that, <laughs> it's all us though. We have to go positive, I think. Six shots to their two. Their defense isn't playing well either. They're all tired as well. They must not have rested anyone. I mean, not that we rested anyone really, but um, they must have just played. Oh fuck! Yeah, he's gonna score. I think that might have been bad marking, or our right back committed too far forward because he seems to be in acres of space. Yeah, look at that ball. Who is that Zark marking it? Oh, that is Foster. Yeah, that was pitiful from Foster. I might even bring Casement on. Foster's not playing very well. It's not good though because um, Casement is not very attacking. And the vibe's not on the bench, I can't bring him on. But maybe I can make Donnelly push forward a bit. Make him an attacking fullback. And just kind of in general get everyone pushing a bit more forward. It's often good to have Flanagan pushing forward because he doesn't influence the game quite as much here as he would do well, he's probably playing more like there, as he would do if he's playing like in this gap between Demerich and Zot. Uh, yeah, he can go attack as well. We need a goal basically. So I'm gonna play like that for fifteen minutes I think and then maybe um sub on some more players to try and change this game. Because we should be playing we should be winning, we're playing well. Gormley's not playing too well as well. I think it could just be tiredness. This often happens. You sort of players play too many games in a row, and then they just sort of play to eighty percent of their ability. I can't believe someone get that in. Put it in the middle of someone. Yes, McKinney. Yes. Mm, that opens up some questions to me now, though. I'll have to keep attacking. But is it worth bringing Gormley off for a different striker? Maybe even Donnelly. Oh, Donnelly can't come off. We haven't got Ive on the bench. Oof, that was close as well. We haven't made a clear cut chance though, so it's not necessarily Gormley's fault we're not scoring. Oh, yeah, there's some subs there. Doherty's knackered, and he's not. And he's got a yellow. I'm going to take him off. Yeah, let's keep him support. And I'm going to bring Leo Brown on. Fuck it, let's give it a try. I'm going to say no pressure for both of them. If it's one all, it's not the end of the world, we stay top. Um, They are playing well, you know, actually, I'm going to go cautious. I, I'm away as well, I shouldn't be too ambitious. Uh, they're looking like they might be more likely to score now at the end. Oof. Give me a little tense last five minutes, I think, because they're getting like a lot of the possession and a lot of chances at the end. It's so close at the top of the league as well. Oh, no, it doesn't the counter. Are we going to score at the end? Teremich just running and running. And then a shit shot at the end. <laughs> Deserved to go at the end of it. I don't know about that, but it was very. Um, a bombing run with no like good shot at the end. He should have passed it to someone, really. But. <clears throat> Yep, so one all draw. I think that's kind of fair, really. I don't know what I'm saying, actually. That isn't fair. I think we deserve to win that game. <laughs> we wasted it. Um, yeah, maybe I should have bollocked them, actually. Yeah, we didn't play that well. I should have. I often hand over to the assistant and then intervene if I feel very strongly. Like, you know, if we play really well or really badly. Um, and normally pick out a player as well that's played well. But I think I was just so tense and happy to have escaped with that one all draw that I, uh, I forgot. So yeah, so I'm going to play a few games. Um, 
in between this episode and next episode. I think I'll probably bring us back for the cup. Um, maybe with Glen and before, or maybe if I do a decent amount of transfer business, maybe just the cup game, and then just kind of a quick explanation of the transfer business, we'll see. Um, but I'll play Dungannon and Glenavon and have a nice cycle during it and um, burn some calories. And then, yeah, Glentora Institute, probably the next one. Excellent. Thank you for listening. Have a nice evening. Hopefully, the weather's as nice where you are as it is here. <laughs>